Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another video. I have here in front of me three bobbleheads, a super bust, and as a Brucey bonus, three Hot Wheels cars. I'll start with the bobbleheads. First up, from Star Wars, Series 1, Number 1, Darth Vader. And yes, I will show you Darth Vader in a moment. From Funko. Now, tell me what you think. I think he looks more like dark helmet from Spaceballs than he does Darth Vader from Star Wars. Of course for you Family Guy fans it could be Stewie in there. Now I have one just like it, but it is, it does have two differences which are inconsequential really. First of all, they came from different lots, they have different lot numbers. And secondly, the one I just showed you, I got at Dave and Buster's. Whereas the second one I picked up at Books A Million and Focus. Okay, for the third bobblehead, this is from Star Wars Series 2 and it is number 13, C-3PO. Now, I have to be careful with C-3PO because he's a bit unstable. He likes to come off his base. The holes on the bottom of his feet were drilled a little bit too big. Now, I can think of only two solutions one of which would be to glue him in place and I wouldn't want to do that because that's too permanent or get a second one and keep this one in the box if I, was, if I set him down and don't touch him he's fine so I don't know alright next up the super bust this bust had been sitting in my pool at the local comic book shop that I go to on a regular basis for nearly a year. Seems like it's been that long. Now the reason I haven't picked it up is because it was expensive. Even though I have a 10% discount it was still expensive. The price on this sucker $80. Now, a week before Christmas, I went in there to pick up some comics, and my wife was out in the car with the kids, and she admonished me the way she always does, now don't go crazy. Well, I went in there, and I was going through my comics and everything, and it dawned on me, this bust might be missing now. I would think they would only keep it in my pool for so long, so I asked them about it and they said it's no longer in your pool because last week your wife picked it up and I said well with Christmas coming I better not say anything to her 
and they pretty much agreed with that. So on Christmas morning, I unwrapped this as one of my presents, and then I told her about what had happened at this comic book shop. It is a bust of Supergirl. 80 bucks worth. Also, there is Shazam and Superman. Sorry, those of you outside of the U.S. may not know that reference. If you watched the Andrew Griffith show, there was a character on there named Gomer Pao, or if you saw Gomer Pao, USMC. That's one of the things he said when he was surprised. Shazam! Now this thing is heavy. Okay, well, I guess I could go ahead and do it now. Hopefully, although I'm not holding my breath, the sound will be better on this video. I have the new gra uh, sound card, rather, installed. But I think what I might have to do is uh, buy a separate microphone. I've tried that before, but this uh, audio level was really low. I mean, really low. So, what I might have to do, you might have to go back in later, is uh, buy a new microphone. And I might have to get a proc amp of some kind. Then again, there are a handful of people that are going to vote down my videos no matter what I do. Alright, this one is called Rockster. HW Off-Road. I have boxes and boxes and boxes of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars and other brands too. Okay, this is RD02. And finally, Nerve Hammer. Okay, that will be it for this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome.